Shalom, all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rukhah Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rukhah Kodash. Now, this is a, a clip from the, uh, the movie The Late Great Planet Earth, right? Which is a, a movie they made. Well, you know, the apostles and the elders, they talk about this movie. So, you know, I basically, you know, checked it out this week. If you haven't seen it, you know, make sure you, you check it out, man. It's, it's very worth watching. So anyway, in the movie, in the film, which is basically a prophetic film, you know, Hal Lindsey, which is the writer of the book, you know, they made, a, they made the film on, pretty much he basically talks on biblical prophecy throughout the film. And it's, 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 it's pretty spot on, man. You know, I know they, they mention man has brought the earth to this um, brink of, you know, to the brink of destruction. Man has done this. Really, they, they're not going to tell you it's Esau and who they are. But the elites, they know to put to make such a kind of a movie like this. They know the Lord is real, man. And the elite, the elite families, they knew the day would come where the true children of Israel, which are you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the Lord would wake his men up again. And, you know, here at Great Millstone, we believe, you know, the men of the Great Millstone are the true teachers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the, the, the true prophets. All right. And there's a lot in this. There's a lot in this uh, movie that's very much worth watching, man. It's, 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 it's very much worth watching. It's very relative to what's happening now. You know, it's very relative to what's happening now. But there's a scene in it that, man, there's so much in this. There's so much in this film, man, uh, period. There's like... It mentions the GMO foods in here. It mentions um, the splicing of, of, of animals in here. You know, it mentions a lot in here, man. I've, I've got to watch it again and again. But this part I wanted to play um, from the movie is basically he got, um, how, how Lindsay talks about pretty much um, the nuclear war, all right, that we're heading into, all right? And I've got some scriptures written because nuclear war is prophetic. It's biblical, there is going to be a nuclear war. And from then up until, from the time this was made up until now, we're definitely living in a time, we're right at the door of it, basically. We're right at the door of it. All right. And this is prophecy that's about to come to pass. But as we always say here at the Great, Great Millstone, we know that the mark, the MOTB has to come beforehand. We know that. But we are, you know, we're living in the time of all these prophecies. It's, it's right at the door. So let me play this here. And faces the possibility of the death of a large part of its population. If it has atomic weapons at its disposal, the danger is that it will try to use them to secure food. This kind of situation could lead to a terrible holocaust. So lucky. See before, see before, see before this scene here. What is what they're showing is basically the na like the other nations. They were showing like Elam you know, the Moabite nations and how Esau basically made them suffer because they were going into um, um, basically how there's world hunger. Because in a time of like the 1960s, 70s, there was like a lot of world hunger in, in the, main, the major continents, all right, where the, third, the, the first world, America and places like America and UK, because they even talk about this in the movie. He said that the third world problems will soon come to the Western society while the Western societies live delicately. The third world has suffered. He, he's going into this. But what he mentions here is if the poorer, what, like basically the poorer nations such as like Elam and whatnot at the time, they're suffering from hunger. What if one day they get their hands on atomic weapons, he says in the movie. It shows you that. Now what do these, eat? What, do, what, do these what does the scripture say? It's rise up. Um, basically just the Lord um, rise up the weaker nations all right and now they all have the same capability as uh, esau and this is what he said this is what he said one day what if they have that and they basically you know are fed up in the from the conditions that they're in which is this is all the lord stirring this up and the lords did that he's got the weaker nations that esau once had complete dominion over all right now they have the nuclear weapon just like the scriptures say to fulfill prophecy man all right, to judge the Edomites, which are the so these so-called white people. But let me play this. I'm speaking to you today from the last battlefield on planet Earth. It's out here that the last stages of history as we know it will be decided. We're told not only in the Bible what will happen here, but when. 
the exact sequence of events that will occur here are given in prophecy. The prophet Zechariah tells us that the soldiers who fight here will have a most unusual way of dying. First of all, the flesh will be consumed off of their bones, the eyes consumed out of their sockets, and the tongue consumed out of their mouth. But the strange thing is, he says that this will all occur before they can fall to the ground. There's nothing like that except nuclear war. Boom. He just said it there. And now let me read this. He just said it there. So he's, he, they're letting you know nuclear war is prophetic. And he's right, all right? So let me read this here. That's, that's, that was how Lindsay right there. I mean, the whole movie, the whole movie is great. It's, it's worth a watch because it's got a lot in it. So let me read this here. Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So the elites of Edom know we're head, heading into a nuclear war. This scripture says this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. That was how they fought in the ancient world. In the ancient world, watch, the mov watch movies. The movies show you that. Um, Gladiator, Troy, uh, Last Samurai, you know. All these kind of movies show you what? Ancient battles. Um, what other ones is there? There's, 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 there's so many. I lost my mind right now. I lost, I lost my um, trailer thought. It's lucky. <laughs> Say, yeah. Anyway, I lost my trailer thought basically. But there's the ancient battles were fought with um, uh, swords and shields and buckler basically. All right. This is what this is what the scripture says. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So what's that talking about? It's, pro it's, it's, it's prophetic. Even how Lindsay he mentions it. He said, well. The only way, because Isaiah described these things and the prophets described these things. So they must have, basically, he, he said that, you know, like, because the Lord took the, like, it's, it's deep. Because the Lord would take the men of the Lord. When he gave them vision, some men he'd even bring to the future to actually see it. All right. Some of the prophets he would bring to the time as, as it was happening and then bring them back to their body. All right. And he kind of goes, he kind of mentions that in the, in, in the, in the, in that film. So showing you Esau, these are higher up, these Edomites, they know things, all right? Now they're not the prophets of the Lord, but they, the Lord, hey, the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has given them a certain level of wisdom, man. But you see the, the men of the great millstone, Lord willing, that are the, you know, prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai teaching this in sincerity, the Lord's spirits on us. We, we see these things, man, all right? So, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. That's them ancient battles, all right? And garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. This is the future, man. The burning and fuel of fire. And what, does, what is that talking about? Nuclear missiles. The time we're coming into now. All right? And it's no coincidence that in Hollywood movies, all right? In Hollywood movies, they basically always show you. What do they show you in Hollywood movies? They always show you nuclear war. And who, who what land is primarily being destroyed? Babylon the Great, which is known as Babylon the Great, which is America, known at today as America, but biblically is known as Babylon the Great. All right, that's what it is. Assyria, Nineveh. It's known. It's got. Um, it's it's written in riddles, but the men of the Lord know what it is. Babylon the Great is America, mystery Babylon. All right, that's talking about America, man. So the burning of fuel of fire is the nuclear missiles. That's basically you know, going to pretty much pelt the land. So now I'm going to read this here, Zechariah, Zechariah um, 14, what he was describing there. Zechariah 14 and, uh, and 12, right? Zechariah 14 and 12. But let me play a bit more of this first. All occur before they can fall to the ground. There's nothing like that except nuclear war. events of enormous destructive power, and yet no one understood them in ancient times. Now technologically we see how they could happen. I think one of the most amazing things is the book of Revelation. Here we have a man that speaks of being transported 
in almost a divine time machine into the future from the first century to almost the end of the 20th century. And he was told to write what he saw and heard. And yet, how could a first century man describe what he saw in the very advanced scientific and technological age that we're in? He had to go back into his own times and take from the phenomena from which he was familiar and uh, bring it into bear and, and try to describe these things in terms of the phenomena of the first century. Well, that's, what, that's, what, that's what the prophets did. They were, vis they were seers, man. That's what they did because there's, the scriptures describe the nuclear missiles as what? Arrows. They describe them as horse in Joel. The, the nuclear missiles are described as horses um, upon the walls. You know, that's what they're described as, man. All right. So there's, they, you know, they're described. Uh, I think there's one where it even goes, it mentions the nukes basically dropping as, like as if they're like figs from the trees, basically, you know, dropping uh, in uh, basically loads of nukes hitting down on the ground, basically. But they described it, I believe, I, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I'm right in saying that. But pretty much they were... Um, they were uh, the, the, they were described in many ways by the prophet, by the men of the Lord, man. All right, that's how they described them with the things that they had at that time. But the Lord also gave give the prophets visions of this. Also, I can't remember who it was. I believe it was Ezra who saw the future, and he he basically threw up. All right, because of what he see, he saw, man. So this is what it is. That's that's part of the prophecy. Entry. The missiles is, is biblical prophecy, man. Flashes of lightning and voices and peals of thunder and great hailstones heavy as a hundred pounds dropped on men from heaven till men cursed God for the plague of the hail. The sky vanished and every mountain and island was removed from its place. So let me continue on here. But this is what it is. This is this is def that movie's definitely, you know, it's definitely worth a watch. Zechariah fourteen and twelve, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. And what's the plague? These nuclear missiles. And who's Jerusalem? See, why is the Lord? Why is the Heavenly Father doing all this? See, the Lord's getting ready to judge America, Babylon the Great, and all the nation, all the so-called the the all the nations. So. All of the places where the so-called white man rules are getting ready to get judgment, but primarily America. All right, why? Because America is the main place where they enslaved the Israelites. Jerusalem represents a, is like we would say is a people before it's a place. Who are the people? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right, that's Jerusalem. So it says, and the Lord shall, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away like. What, how Lindsay was talking about. What's that talking about? The nukes, man, that, that radi the heat. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And, and what can give you a good description of that? Um, a Hollywood movie, Terminator, T2. We always mention that. That's a good description of that. Why are they, why are they putting it? When you watch Terminator, the T2, the movie, they show you the nuclear destruction. And Sarah Connor runs out. She holds the fence. You know, that the great scene. And it's exactly what we're describing. She was shaking the fence and the flesh was melting away. Exactly what the scripture says. So they know. They know, man. So it says, while, there's, while they stood upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. This is what the Lord's getting ready to do, man. That nuclear, man. All right, put all kind of hell on us. Okay. And we're still under their bondage. We're still in bondage in America primarily and also we're in bondage in the, in England we're in bondage in Holland in Germany wherever our people are scattered we're in bondage under the under the so-called white man and the other nations that he has set up over us so this is the the judgment that's about to come on the earth all right the nuclear missiles for the sake of for the sake of Jerusalem okay so let me read this this is 
um, Revelation, Revelation 20 and 14. Revelation 20 and 14. It says, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. All right. And what's the sec what's the lake of fire? The lake of fire is this is talking about the lake of fire in Revelation 20 is talking about America, Babylon the Great. Because America is going to be nuked. When the nuclear missiles hit America, it's going to be destroyed from east to west, from one end of America to the other. All right? East to west, north to south. It's going to be destroyed. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Okay? And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And who's that? Who's that? Pretty much. The Esau, the so any basically, if you're of another nation on the shores of America, you're going to be destroyed anyway because you can't be delivered. The only people that's going to be saved when the, before the nukes hit America is the hopeful elect, all right, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But you have to be an Israelite, you have to be of Negro, Latino, and Native American descent for them ships to deliver you, man. You got to be an Israelite, and and also you got to be of the elect. But the rest of the people on the shores of America, even two thirds of the Lord's people. You know, that ain't right right now. They're going to be nuked in the lake of fire, man. The second death. This is the second death. All right. Let me read this here. This is uh, Second Peter 3 and 6. <coughs> Second Peter 3 and 6. Okay. It says, Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. This is talking about the first death. But the heavens and the earth, which are... Well, let, let me... um. Yeah, so 2 Peter 3 and 6, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. That's talking about the first death during the time of Noah. The same thing that happened during the time of Noah is happening now. The earth is in total disarray. It's being run by evil. It's wicked. So what did the Lord do at that time? He flooded the earth with water. All right. The great flood, the great, I believe they call it, I believe it's called a deluge. The great water came down. You know, really came from everywhere, from underneath, from above, from everywhere. The water was coming and just flooded the earth, drowned people. And that would never happen before. All right. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. That's that's the first death. All right. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So, that, so the second death is basically the time we're living in now. You see? But the heavens and the earth, which are which are now, the time we're in now, by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire, all right? So the fire's coming. See them same spirits that during the time of Noah, when the Lord flooded the earth, they're back again here today doing the same wickedness, all right? And the hopeful elect, the, the ones that are going to be delivered on this side from this nuclear missiles, are basically in the stead of like Noah, basically. You know, we're basically, you know, in the stead, Noah's of the elect. We're like, we're like spiritually like Noah in this time, man. All right? And we want to be reserved from the second death, which is the nuclear missile. So, but the, but the heavens and the earth, which are now, all right, by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. All right? And that's... If you're not in this truth, if you're if you don't if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and you're not in this truth, believing in Yahweh Shai, all right, which we know most of our people aren't. Basically, you're wicked, all right. The other nations, the the heathen nations, by default, they're wicked anyway. But this is what the Lord's going to do to this 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 second death is near, and and you can feel it, man. By the way. Just things, well, we know by the root wars and rumours of wars, but also just the spirit of the land, man. The mirth is gone. The mirth is basically dead. People are just, people are just hanging on to it, man. But it's finished. We know we're at the doors of destruction, man. So, you know, they're right in the um, late great planet Earth. They're right in that movie, you know, going into that nuclear missiles, man. And, you know, we're at the doors of this. So you know with that must say all praises unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukha Kudash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rukha Kudash. Shalom, Shalom.